welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for coming here and i'm so happy and honored to be reading for all of you on my channel to my soul group and to all the subscribers here thank you so much uh, for coming in so today we're going to be doing a reading for aries leo and sagittarius okay uh, this is going to be a relationship a love reading okay we will see whatever needs to come out in the area of love and what is it that you need to know? I'll be using my beautiful deck. Um, beautiful decks, in fact, that I will be using for the love readings. Okay, so stay tuned, my loves. This is a general reading. This is a tarot reading. This does not have to relate with everyone. So don't try to make it fit if it's not your story. Okay, so let's dive right in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what's coming up for love? Now this is a reading which will last for one month and this is a timeless reading so whenever you watch this from then to one month okay this is the re this is a reading that is predicting that one month from the time that you're watching this reading all right so let's dive right in my loves we will be using the soul's journey deck to see what's coming up for you okay where are you at with your soul's journey when it comes to love and love relationships with your partner let's see aries leo sagittarius aries leo sagittarius what's coming in i'm getting a lot of passion here hmm. i'm getting a lot of passion you want something that is passionate you want something that um kind of i don't know it's it's although it's something that's also giving you a little bit of stress like what is love to me? How how do I feel when I'm in love? Like you, you're asking these questions to yourself, fire signs, which is interesting, okay? Um, it's someone that's making you question your own identity in love, okay? Like, what is this meant to be, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's coming up for my beautiful fire signs, my beautiful souls who's watching this. Tell me about fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in love. What's happening first, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in love? Please tell me. What's happening? Where are they at their soul's journey? Wow, yes. I'm getting power couple instantly with this, okay? This is something that you're striving forward to. You want... Uh, a relationship that is successful okay you want a connection that uh, speaks to your soul in a way that uh, you know that this is going to be successful in front of the people that you care about in front of the society in front of the culture in front of the world in general okay you want a power couple you want to be within a power couple you want to be with a powerful man a powerful woman somebody who knows how to take care of themselves somebody who knows how to love themselves you know somebody who's grateful for people in their life who care about them but at the same time they know what are their prior priorities in love okay somebody who has a very matured head on their shoulder somebody who doesn't take success in the form of ego okay that um, you know once they are successful that they become extremely egotistical and they take advantage of people you don't want that kind of a person you have realized with a lot of ups and downs that you know this is something that you will completely despise if you come across such a person so you're very much like you know uh, putting a magnifying glass on, a, on another person fire signs aries leo sagittarius okay this is for aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north node right so if you have aries leo sag in any of those placements this reading was, will relate with you but yes um i'm getting that you want this relationship to be extremely uh, beneficial to you and your partner uh, but you also need your space to be able to handle your own success while coming together and being successful together you know you both have to be successful at a certain stage in life before you can uh, get in that energy within the relationship okay beautiful my loves i love how um I love how you are being honest to yourself. I love how you're being kind to yourself, but also being discerning about who it is that you want to give your energy to because you have realized that giving your energy to the wrong person leads to a very wrong scenario in your life. And now you're looking for a person who doesn't have any such red, red flags, okay? Because in the past, you've been with partners who take success to another uh, level where they try to uh, egotistically bring other people down 
or that they think that uh, they think too highly of themselves and then you're seeing them falling flat on their face and you don't want that to happen for you or for your partner okay you want it to be a complete success so let's see my loves what's coming up for you aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north node let's see let's, let's get one more card here interesting we have this freedom in reverse hmm. and love at the bottom of the deck love at the bottom of the deck let's see guilt in reverse okay guilt in reverse and freedom in reverse hmm. okay so with the guilt in reverse my loves i'm getting that um it's it's very much like you are finally letting go of the guilt of your past relationships by signs okay in the past relationships your uh, partners made you feel very much guilty about wanting to be successful in life maybe about focusing on your career focusing on your money your financial stability security and safety right so uh, your partners made you feel very much guilty about those things and now you're realizing that you want to be in a power couple a person who is also very focused on growth on abundance on self love on gratitude on being grateful for every moment each present moment in their life who also has a certain level of spirituality but also a level of financial maturity within them right you want somebody like that because you are also uh, vibrating on that frequency okay so you want that energy reciprocated back to you you don't want a person who pulls you with that with that guilty conscience that oh my god you're not giving me time how dare you how can you do that to me and you don't want that overly dramatic relationships that you have been a part of in the past where um, your partners expect too much from you and you're not able to deliver as much right so you're realizing that and you are not letting anybody guilt trip you into a relationship anymore okay especially people from your past uh if they are trying to come back in your life you are very much like um not in a guilt trip mode so you have switched off your guilt trip mode completely okay and i'm getting that um if there's somebody in your life that makes you feel like you're trapped within a connection that you are not feeling uh, free enough that you're not able to speak wildly about what you um desire for your life what are your goals and wants for life and your big vision for life that you're not going to be um loving them anymore that you're not going to give them acceptance and love anymore right because you love your purpose now you love what you're here to do you love your mission in this world and once you realize that you have a mission in this world then you want a person who also knows that they have a mission that they are not directionless right because once you uh, know that that person is directionless they will also cause you to become directionless and you have been in such relationships in the past where your partners made you extremely haywire or directionless and you didn't know where to go where to head do after that and you felt extremely trapped within that guilt guilty conscience of um being with them for so long that um you lost your identity in a way to them or you lost yourself and you don't want that extreme to happen again okay fire signs so i'm getting that you're burning away those impurities that you developed in the past love relationships because you have recognized that um loving your purpose will give you the perseverance right loving your purpose is going to develop the perseverance to be able to love your freedom and your space as much as loving success and a power couple within the connection with with you and your partner being the power couple together right beautiful i love this my loves okay so let's dive right in let's see what's coming up for you in love okay let's see i'm going to be using my beautiful modern love tarot i've never used this before on the channel so this is for all of you fire signs let's see what's coming up for you my loves <sighs> okay so let's see it is leo sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north node okay i'm i'm getting that now you're not going to feel guilty for having your freedom you're not going to feel guilty for having uh to focus on your goals your purpose and your success and if a person genuinely loves you they will accept you for your focus on your purpose they will not try to derail you or not try to make you pay attention to, to them because they themselves are losers or that they are not um focusing on the things that they need to right and they are trying to derail you so you you are very very keen you are very much discerning these things in your relationships right now which is amazing my loves okay and i'm also seeing that you're committing to seeing the good things 
in your person okay so you're trying to inculcate positive thinking positive manifestation techniques i'm getting you are manifesting in a very positive way towards your partners you're bringing in the positive people in your life who deserve your attention who deserve your energy and who don't have to guilt trip you into uh giving them energy and attention okay so tell me about fire signs aries leo and sagittarius what's coming up for them what is it that they need to know about in love okay let's see it is leo sagittarius in love wow i love that oh interesting okay okay my loves two of cups okay so i will definitely keep these cards first let's see let me get three more cards at the bottom and then we'll start tell me about two of cups All right, Eight of Pentacles. Yes, Eight of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Interesting. Six of Swords and um, that's a lot of cards. I'm gonna keep it here. Okay. Then we will clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. Let's see. Queen of Wands in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. Tell me about Five of Wands. Beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, and Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, all right. So let's dive right in, my loves. So the first card out for you is Two of Cups. Okay, you're looking for that love that you can grow old with, but somebody that you can share your love with, somebody that you can share your journey with, your story with. Okay, I'm getting that you want to grow old together. You want a love that is matured. You don't want a love that is, um, you know, it's fast burning, it's chaotic, it's impatient, it's restless, it's dramatic. You don't want that. You don't want that. You want somebody who can understand your journey, somebody who can understand your struggles, somebody who can understand your ups and downs, your mood swings at times, you know, and somebody who understands that sometimes you need your space as well, okay? And they are happy for you, that they, they cheers with you, they, they have fun with you, even if that is the case, right? So yeah, with the two of cups, that is the ultimate form of success for you. That is the ultimate goal for you, is to have that kind of a power couple. But at the same time, the kind of love that um, that ages like fine wine. I don't know why I, I wanted to say that. You know, you're looking for a love that literally ages like fine wine, where you commit to see the good in each other, right? You commit to see the best in each other, and you try to bring out the best in each other, not the worst in each other. Okay, that is your purpose to find that kind of a love, and until you find that. Uh, fire signs i'm getting that you're taking your time okay because you realize that there are some uh, faults okay now this is either you queen of wands my loves this is fire sign aries leo sagittarius that is the first card is cancerian right but this is talking about um you being very very fired up about your goals okay but in reverse since it's in reverse i'm getting that uh, there's a sense of not feeling confident within your body about yourself okay um, i'm getting that's because of the past relationships that you've been in i'm getting that um, uh, your past partners have made you feel very much less than or they have made you feel like you're not hot enough that you don't look good enough you don't look good in these clothes and that was of course the manipulation tactics that these immature men or women used on you okay right so um, it has made you realize that you have developed some guilt because of these people about your own self and about love itself okay there's a lot of chaotic energy about love within your mind and now with this reading a lot is getting cleared you know a lot is getting cleaned from your subconscious mind so yes queen of wands in reverse is all about sometimes feeling very inconfident or sometimes also manipulating uh, the opposite sex into coming towards you okay now it, it could be you being a man and feeling less confident so you try to guilt trip uh, your partners into connection with you so that you can be successful but that is like an illusion of success it's not really success when you are feeling trapped or you are trying to trap somebody somebody else's freedom by keeping them stuck with you in your inner connection and it's an addictive cycle right so um, i'm getting that if that is a toxic trait that you have developed because of your past relationships right you need to let it go you need to let your lover be live and let live i'm getting that is very very important 
okay and you need to develop your sense of self love and self worth okay by seeing the good in yourself right loving on yourself seeing the good seeing the best in yourself my loves okay you have been dealing with manipulative uh, manipulative partners in the past okay and whenever you wanted something very beautiful you always found people who were negative or who who were manipulative when it came to uh, having like a complete family together okay like they tried to give you the dream that you know we will have everything together but in turn they were trying to manipulate you into um you know trying to get you in bed or trying to uh, manipulate you to like have sex with you or have physical intimacy with you right and you always try to follow your higher guidance you always try to follow um the spiritual path that was leading you to the right energy okay and uh with five of wands i'm getting that every time you asked for freedom in your relationship i'm getting that there were fights there was arguments okay especially i'm getting the masculine always tried to get um or the masculine got very reactive i'm getting so if you are a masculine watching this i'm getting that the feminine manipulated you in such a way that you always felt aggressive towards her even though you wanted a full um, a, a a mature love you wanted a, a love that aged like fine wine uh, whenever you spoke about it that the the woman would like gaslight you or make you feel like you know you're wrong or that you you your demands are like extremely high or unnecessary why would you want that you know i have my own life i have my own space how can you do this to me and trying to blame you and gaslight you right so i'm getting that yeah you have dealt with some such love connections which have been extremely toxic and in turn it has taken away from your true confidence and it has made you feel guilty for even loving another person or wanting something uh, mature from another person okay uh because these arguments led to nothing like it was only about walking away from each other or trying to say that okay if this is how you're going to behave then I'm going to walk away from you and that pissed the other person off and boom the other the cycle of arguments started again and again and uh maybe you're dealing with this right now fire signs maybe you have a partner who is like this and you need to break free because uh you're feeling that your freedom is very much tied in with it okay it is leo sagittarius i'm getting it's important for you to know where you stand with this person and if is this person is really worth it okay so yes um i'm getting that some of you are also planning to move out because somebody makes you feel guilty about uh, wanting that whole thing that uh, mature love with you um you're feeling guilty about it and somebody is making you feel guilty for wanting or asking that because it's like too much for you to ask and they feel that you're asking for too much you're extremely demanding that you're this or that and it's pulling you down my loves okay so let's see ace of wands clarifying the two of cups ace of wands eight of pentacles i'm getting same sex relationship beautiful my loves i'm getting six of swords and wheel of fortune okay so uh, let's clarify these two first so ace of wands and eight of pentacles okay now this is your ultimate vision of a relationship it's like you know you are so passionate about spending time with each other i'm also getting that you want to be with a power couple somebody who understands how you work how you function how you plan things okay somebody who surprises you with cupcakes while you're working hard on your presentation somebody who comes and hugs you and gets uh, and prepare some candlelight um moments with you while you're working okay this is something that you want to passionately ignite within your life okay and not just same sex but of course with different sex relationships as well opposite sex relationships as well okay but this is talking about like um being able to officially accept each other in each other's arms even in work even in work situation be it chilling at home and working together with uh, some dessert with some candlelight and you know moving forward from the dark situations that kept you tied up okay tied up into the negative situations of your life uh, into the emotionally draining situations of your life i'm getting that fire signs you want to move forward from that okay and if somebody could not accept you working on your goals and still being there to support you then i'm seeing that you're ending the cycle and you're moving forward from that okay you don't want people to drag you down you don't want people to keep you stuck okay that is what i'm seeing and you're working on a plan to figure out how to make this work okay i'm getting that you're also working on some kind of a skill fire signs um 
something that is going to give you a lot of money in the future something that is going to build a legacy for you okay and uh, yeah with the eight of pentacles six of swords it's like um, if there is a partner who doesn't appreciate your work and your work ethic then you know things are changing for that i'm getting that your partner is slowly going to realize that um you know they they did the wrong thing by moving away from such a beautiful thing that they had with you if they, this is someone someone that got bothered with you trying to work right so beautiful my loves and there's a lot of changes that are coming in and you're realizing that you know this kind of love is not going to suit you especially a person who gets emotionally drained when you ask for something real with them okay something power couplish with them okay so yes um now i'm getting that uh in the present i'm getting that with the queen of wands in reverse clarifying the ten of pentacles i'm seeing that you want a relationship that produces a legacy for you okay that produces a happy family where you can spend time together where you have children who you have adopted maybe if it's a same-sex relationship or a relationship which uh, gives you ultimate satisfaction and fulfillment of material abundance material sustenance right but um, i'm also picking up some of you who uh, who are very tired of like having a lot of abundance of money and maybe you want to sell off some of your assets and move to a country house or move to another location altogether so that is also in the cards for you i'm seeing that your mentality is completely shifting with the times that are that are coming in okay so this is going this reading is going to last for the next month that you're watching this this whole month basically that you're watching this from the date that you're watching right so yes my loves um I see that you want something mature and if you don't have that that you feel extremely down and you feel like you're trapped and that you are filled with guilt right and there are some beliefs that you need to break about yourself you're realizing that there are some toxic beliefs that you have developed from this person who tried to guilt trip you by being with you um, and not letting you work on your goals and isolating you from your real friends from your family and that is not the love that you want okay you want a love that um, boosts your confidence and that lets you be you and authentically you in the world right and if you don't get that well you feel trapped and you want to let go of it okay and that is great my loves okay in the future i'm seeing that you are focusing on your beautiful success you're focusing on creating your own heaven wherever you go okay and this is something that is very much required because the more you focus on self love okay um i'm getting wearing an amethyst on your um, neck will help you with self love a lot and abundance as well okay so once you start seeing the good in yourself be it whatever body weight you are okay whatever it is that is your weight maybe you feel a little bit insecure about being fat but even when you accept yourself when you're fat even if you are um a little bit obese or overweight okay accepting yourself for who you are is going to result in the beautiful success of the hierophant which is a beautiful committed relationship of a power couple coming towards you okay so divine is definitely watching you do the work divine is watching you um juggle a lot of things in your life okay and divine is watching you feel a little bit abandoned about about things that you don't want to feel like abandoned about but spirit is like stay strong stand still you are going to receive the abundance it's just you have to start believing in yourself for it okay and um i'm getting that especially whenever you have started to feel independent you get into fights or you get into arguments with your partners about um you know that how unsuccessful you are or you're not doing it right okay so yeah your partners have made you extremely insecure about where you stand with them but you're realizing that the more you focus on your purpose and the more you focus on the seeing the good in yourself the more you attract that beautiful connection to you which is uh, always going to give you that sustenance and power and uh, energy that you deserve right so beautiful my loves i love this for you guys you are stepping into your independence into your power and if you have to move out from toxic people from toxic situations you are doing that this month okay you are releasing all the negativity that is holding your freedom back from yourself okay and it's letting you uh, let your freak flag fra- fly right it's interesting i said fry okay some of you are frying something while watching this so maybe you're frying some fries or you're frying some salami sausages i'm getting stir fry so stir fried vegetables okay because you want to lose some weight that's a great idea okay go ahead and do it but it's not because you hate yourself being fat it's because you want to be healthy okay that is how you program your mind 
and especially deprogram your mind by people who have tried to put you down my loves okay especially about your body weight about your body about your looks about your confidence okay somebody who has tried to attack your confidence gaslight your feelings don't let them do that okay let's see give give us advice pertaining to this spread what is it that the fire signs need to surrender pertaining to the spread what is it that the fire signs need to surrender let's see two cards are out here surrender to what is my loves okay flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace right so it's time to end the inner conflict it's time to end the battle with yourself about how um how um, incapable you are of having a relationship that lasts a lifetime okay it's time to stop the war within yourself about not feeling confident about your decisions and about moving out from the toxicity into a brighter future for yourself okay so surrendering to what is is the key to your happiness flow with what is instead of fighting it right uh, flow with your body if you feel like you are not uh confident enough flow with it and try to inculcate healthy habits this will give you the freedom that you deserve okay when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace my loves the next card is surrender your fear of intimacy so with the past relationships i'm getting that you have developed a fear of intimacy okay because uh, maybe during the moments of being intimate with your partner they have uh done certain things or said certain things or um maybe they have either been extremely um like in the mood of using you and shown you that they are just using you and that you're not actually capable enough to be like like forever with them and they are just there for some time okay so it's saying that surrender your fear of intimacy you're ready to let love in okay that's what spirit is saying you're ready for love you're ready for that matured love right you're ready for that love that ages like fine wine a love that is spiritual a love that is power couple right with the hair of aunt i'm getting there's a commitment coming in this month itself okay which is going to shock you and it's going to make you feel very much like hot and cold about this love like should you give in or should you not give in but you're ready to love let uh, love let in <laughs> let love in okay but um, yeah compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart right my loves so opening your heart is the key opening your heart towards your partner is the key to intimacy the key to success in a relationship key to a power couple right so these two things have to be considered okay especially when it comes to intimacy you have to open your heart you have to be open hearted and release yourself in your partner's arms okay and if you feel insecure about doing that then now is the time to release all the negative beliefs that have held you and held you hostage and held you guilty and self uh, in a self imprisonment right and realize that you're here for a purpose to transmute all the pain and negativity and to always be successful to know that there is no greater goal than to love right love yourself and love your partner and love others right beautiful my love so let's see what is the advice pertaining to the spread what is the advice for my beautiful fire signs aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north node placements let's see what is the advice what is the advice what is the advice i'm also getting that if you are unappreciated somewhere it's time to leave that connection if you are being gaslighted by somebody for wanting something more it's time to leave that connection it's time to embrace the new connection that supports you that loves you for who you are right and let make space for new love okay i'm getting make space for new love to come into your life I'm all also getting that there's somebody you're already in cahoots with. You're talking to somebody on your messages. Okay, there's a lot of back and forth communication, right? But I'm also getting that there's someone who really finds you to be a smooth communicator. Okay, somebody who they can spend the rest of their life with. They can work it out with. Okay, somebody is already on the radar. Somebody has you on their radar. Okay, give me a uh, uh, give me an advice pertaining to the spread for my fire signs. Trust, yes. Look at this, how beautiful, how it's mirroring, right? How beautiful. But it's just opposite sides, but it's saying the same thing, right? 
to trust in what is to flow with what is instead of trying to make it something that it's not or trying to make someone into something that they don't want to be okay do not try to manipulate into uh, manipulate someone into um, giving you something that you know um, only you can give yourself and that is how you empower yourself fire signs right this is a time for your empowerment to empower yourself and also to have an empowering relationship to have a power couple like i said look at that power couple it's right here okay so let's see my loves what is the uh, card speaking for yourselves okay but this is talking about trusting yourself okay trusting to have a leap of faith in love trusting in intimacy trusting in love and faith okay empowerment has also opened up immediately as i opened the book but i will read trust and then i will read empowerment as well so let's see trust <sighs> yes my loves you would be wise to be watchful and to trust no one at this time keep yourself keep yourself to yourself and do not buy into any fear or chaos that's being stirred up around you you know the truth so stand strong in being true to who you are remember that relationships whether personal or business should be built on trust and a mutual agreement could test your faith you have been let down badly before and it's taken a while to trust again however someone vulnerable needs your assurance and a secret is shared it's time to prove how trustworthy you can really be okay so just because you have been wronged in the past are you going to repeat the same mistake and let someone else who really believes in you and who shares their secret with you are you going to manipulate them right you have been spending time with someone i can see it so this is about to test your faith this is about you being tested by the universe are you going to trust in yourself and to trust the other person who's giving themselves to you or are you going to uh, repeat the same mistake of the past and try to trap them in a situation right because you got trapped initially or you got trapped in the past mm -hmm. right so yes it says hold your cards close to your chest so i'm getting that there are people who are jealous of you that um, are also like they don't uh, really trust you or you don't trust them so i'm getting that if you don't trust someone you're getting that intuitive feeling then keep your cards close to your chest okay try to move in a way that is you know um keeping you safe from these people be careful with whom you share your ideas i'm getting that some people are jealous of your ideas you coming up with such successful ideas and passionate ideas i'm getting some people are definitely jealous of this so make sure that you are be you're careful about whom you're sharing your ideas with okay uh the person you have inquired about is trustworthy right so i told you this person i'm getting same sex relationship card look at this this person that you're sharing your ideas with especially maybe work partnership is also what i'm getting you're working together at home um this person you have inquired about is trustworthy okay and open your heart heart open your height mm -hmm. interesting some of you are wondering about your height or that you how can you increase your height in interesting uh but the person you have inquired about is trustworthy and open your heart it's time to trust my loves okay so like i said it's time to open your heart surrender to what is and surrender your fear of intimacy right into the universe and empowerment okay you have so many strengths fire signs you have so many strengths and yet you allow others to take away your power when your words are dismissed when your actions are mocked your light fades because you don't stand up to be counted you may say silently to yourself that everything is fine that you know the real truth but the universe requires you to stamp your authority so that you can grow fully into the wise one that you truly are the wisdom keeper that others are waiting to turn to by working with the element of fire to purge any fears that hold you back you are more able to step fully into your power with salamander the elemental guardian of fire as your ally okay so it's time to step up and it's time to say what it is that you're meant to say okay don't feel guilty about standing up for yourself okay because of your past relationships that made you feel guilty about it right stand up and be counted it's time to get your opinion across someone is trying to control you participate in an organized fire walk and seize the day okay so you can organize a fire walk to um uh be within that element and let the element of fire empower you so that you can have the spiritual connection that you desire and not sabotage it by being hot and cold with it right do not sabotage love my loves it's coming in your life accept love with your open heart and show your heart to the other other person and don't try to let the past come in between the present okay because that will only bring more and more agony and sorrow 
right my loves so i wish you beautiful success in this love that has to age like fine wine i'm getting you are getting this love this month and i am congratulating you for it okay i hope you um get the best form of relationship that you have ever gotten in your lifetime and that you move forward in the best way possible my loves so thank you so much for coming here please let me know in the comments down below how you enjoyed this reading how much you resonated with it and uh, if you like it please do subscribe so that i can pick up more of your energies right and thank you so much my loves peace